All right, Brian, thank you. Court hearings are underway after ISP trooper Aaron Smith was killed during a police chase. These two men now face criminal charges as police say they took part in the chase that claimed Trooper Smith's life. And Fox 59's Jesse Wells attended that court hearing today in which a judge decided whether the men should be let out on bond. Jesse tells us about that initial hearing and explains the different charges each suspect now faces. Today, a judge here in Hendricks County entered not guilty pleas for both of the suspects. Both men are charged with auto theft and resisting law enforcement. The driver, Eddie Jones, is also charged with murder, although according to court records, he claims the crash was an accident. Prosecutors played this in-dot video in court, which shows the driver of a stolen SUV swerve to the right and hit trooper Aaron Smith as he attempted to deploy stop sticks. We have cropped the video so it doesn't show trooper Smith or the moment of impact. Prosecutors insist the video shows the driver, Eddie Jones, intentionally hit trooper Smith. Court records claim the tragedy started at this McDonald's on Kentucky, where troopers spotted the SUV, which had been reported stolen by Jones's mother in Missouri a week earlier. Prosecutors believe Jones rammed two cars in the parking lot before leading police on the deadly chase. According to this affidavit, Jones told police his glasses fell off during the chase, and when he saw the trooper, he hit the brakes and just lost control. Clearly, the driver is directing the vehicle towards that trooper and trying to evade the drop sticks. Attorney Mario Masalamini, who isn't connected to the case, reviewed the video. He feels the defendant's claim of an accident will be hard to support. I think it's going to be very difficult for a defense attorney uh, and the defendant to make an argument that he is not knowingly or intentionally uh, trying to hit and kill that trooper. Seeing the evidence, a judge agreed to hold Jones without bond pending trial. Jones claims his passenger, Demarion Curry, encouraged Jones to speed away, believing troopers would terminate the chase if they reached I-70. Curry is being held on a $5,000 cash bond and is not allowed to leave the state without permission. Finally, both suspects are due back in court in August with preliminary trial dates set for September. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. In a written statement, the Hendricks County prosecutor said this afternoon he's deeply saddened by Trooper Smith's death. The trooper is the first law enforcement officer killed in the line of duty nearly 50 years in Hendricks County. One official memorial fund is set up for Trooper Smith's family. It's at Indiana Members Credit Union under Aaron Smith Memorial Fund, and anyone can make a donation by stopping in the nearest branch. You can also call the number that you see there on your screen, and you can also make a donation at the Indiana Fallen Heroes Foundation. All of this information you see here now will be on our website, fox59.com. A visitation service will also be held Thursday afternoon at the Emanuel Church in Greenwood for Trooper Smith. That runs from 2 to 8 p.m. Funeral services will begin at 11 on Friday morning at the same location. Trooper Smith's body will be escorted from Greenwood to the Heroes of Public Safety area of Crown Hill Cemetery. That procession route will be announced later this week. 